When I bought my first 3D printer kit over a decade ago, I wasn't entirely sure how useful it would be as a tool. As I became more acquainted with CAD and 3D printing materials, the sky seemed to be the limit. These days, my wife begs me not to turn everything I see into a 3D printing project. This has been my exact experience with laser cutting. During our move this month, one of our pictures had broken. I told my wife, it's not a big deal, we can just thrift a new one. And then the laser tube in my head went off. I have a tool that perfectly cuts acrylic with little to no cleanup, and within 15 minutes, I had cut a new lens for this frame. Now that I have a laser cutter, the projects seem to just fall into my lap. Like this LED light that I found for a few dollars at a thrift store. I knew exactly what it was for, one of those cheap acrylic lamps. Of course, I wanted to etch my own logo into a piece of translucent orange acrylic for this. All I had to do for this was drop my logo into the Xtool software and add a cut line and square to match the slot in the lamp base. After it was done, I washed the debris out of the laser engraved area, and here's the result. I love the texture that engraved acrylic has. The clean edges mean the light can enter through the bottom and scatter through the acrylic, illuminating the logo. Next, I picked up a few catch-all trays, again, from the thrift store. The Xtool P2 has a curved surface feature where it will scan the depth of the object and make a depth grid, similar to mesh bed leveling on a 3D printer. Then, all I had to do was drop a cool picture into the measured area and select engrave. At first I thought this was too dark, but after it finished I gave it a wipe and the design regained some of its contrast. Super cool to be able to personalize things like this with almost no design time. You have to remove these slats to use the curved surface function, so I had to put them back in for my next design, which was kind of a pain, but Xtool sells one of those honeycomb style beds which I need to get my hands on. Next, I wanted to design some little business cards, so I made a design in Illustrator to look like a floppy disk. Then I dropped it right into the Xtool software. Thank you. 
This one took me a couple tries, but when I finally nailed all the settings, it came out exactly as I had imagined. Super cool and a little nostalgic. Finally, I loaded up some 3mm base wood and cut a plaque holder that I designed. This design has a bunch of interlocking pieces and it was a bit of a puzzle to assemble. This is to hold my silver play button and it worked perfectly. Obviously a laser cutter is a big expense, but I hope these project videos get the gears turning for you so you can see how it could benefit your projects. As always, thanks for watching and happy cutting.